Okay guys, today we have a 2013 Hyundai Ecos. Uh, this is a very common issue on these cars. So first problem, uh, car was sagging. All the airbags in the rear were changed. Front struts were changed. Air suspension compressor was changed. After all that was done, car kept sagging in the rear right. So we followed the airline from the rear right all the way to the front to kind of find out where it was leaking. And you know, there was really no leaks anywhere. Uh, when we looked very close, uh, this is the valve body for the car. Let me grab a light. This is the valve body for the car. Uh, the two rear lines are this white one, this green one, and this yellow one. Now these lines, as you can see, go up here. And where they actually go, you gotta remove the filled air filter housing to gain access to them. But you can see the lines, they go here. Now, sorry, what happens is whenever the car sags down, these lines pinched against this frame rail and they crack. So you can see here where this one's cracked. Let me There you go, right there. And if I spray it with water now, soapy water, there is no leak on the line, everything looks good. But when it sits overnight and the tires are on the ground from all that pressure, it leaks slowly. So what happens to this car is if you have a leak and the air pressure in the system drops below 60, 64 PSI, I think, I believe it is, um, the air compressor stops kicking on. So now not only you're gonna have one airbag down over time, all of them are gonna go down and you're gonna think it's a compressor issue or something else because you don't have enough pressure in the system for the compressor to engage. The compressor can only fill up your system if there's at least 64 PSI pressure. So to get 64 PSI pressure, you have to, you need a scan tool and you know, you go through the functional tests on the scan tool and you can just use a actual a regular blow gun, blow air in there. And then you need at least 64 PSI for the compressor to kick on and bring these airbags up. And then once they're brought up, you need 94 PSI to be able to calibrate the suspension. So, yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe.